Hey guys, Cruxel, welcome back to my series updated where we go over big CSGO updates. Today, June 12th, 2018, there was a substantial update by Valve where we have some map reworks on Mirage and Canals, as well as some nice balancing on the weapons and some much needed quality of life improvements. So first off, we have the CZ-75, which in the current meta is very overused and a lot would warrant to say very overpowered. So we have a slight nerf for it that I think is a step in the right direction. I'm not sure if it's substantial enough to turn off a lot of users, but the base value for damage is from 33 to 31 now. So a one shot will no longer kill an opponent, as well as the fact that it will take more bullets to kill. Another improvement for the M4A1S, finally a buff for this, as a lot of people have stopped using it like myself. There's now three reserve mags. So you don't have to worry about ammunition as much, which was a big downside for me not using it. So I'm definitely going to fuck around and experiment with this in the future and try it out. Now that I do have more reserve mags, I can have the peace of mind of being able to spray and pre-fire more. The MP7, which is another weapon that people really weren't buying. I mean, SMGs aren't super viable right now, but they did lower the price from 1700 to 1500 So again, this is going to be something I'm experimenting with in the future, seeing if I like it and if that new price point is enticing enough for me to use it in the long term. Now for updates on Mirage, as you can see, there is no longer the broken wagon ramp that goes into B, so you don't have to worry about jumping and fucking up your teammates. Again, fuck you if you did that. Now there's a staircase, which is nice and clean, and makes the area a lot easier to maneuver through, like they said, lowering the skill ceiling to get into B. As well as the other side of this platform, they have boxes instead of a ladder, so now it actually does take a bit longer to get up through there if you're rotating as a CT or even just falling back as a T. One huge improvement for Mirage, and what I think they should do on more maps, is they completely open the skybox. I mean, they were not lying, it is open as shit. You can do fakes across map now, and it really updates the amount of smokes that you can have in the game that are pretty viable. So I'm going to be making some new smoke videos for this map very soon, as I know a lot of people are playing Mirage, and uh, it just opens up so many possibilities. I'm really excited for this. They did clean up the area in mid in Connector. They cleaned up the black background or the dark doorway that was there, so you can see enemies a lot clearer now as an opera, which is a great quality of life improvement. As well as my favorite change from this map, in my opinion, is the ability to shoot through these fucking vertical fence posts that would stop your bullets. I don't know how many flicks I've gotten where I just tagged the enemy or didn't even do any damage because of these stupid things. So now you just shoot right through them. It doesn't even decrease damage. As well as in mid, there is no longer this archway with the wooden pillars here. They were really annoying and you still have some nice cover there, but you're not going to be as protected and you don't have to worry about the pesky roof there. The ramp going into A is a lot clearer for CTs peaking there, so you can be able to see player models once again a lot clearer. The area of this bitch spot in market is a lot clearer as well, and the textures on bench were updated. All of upper apps were cleaned up a lot in this update. And one of my favorite changes for the map in terms of strategy is this banked wall in Palace where you're going to be able to throw flashes or nades in and out a lot more easily because of the angle right there. And the last change for Mirage is this broken hole in the corner of the wall on B site that you used to be able to lose guns to. It was a glitch. They just got rid of that entirely. Not too important, but still wanted to mention it. There were a few changes on canals, everyone's favorite map, as you all know, and there's this plywood in front of the scaffolding here to improve the visibility of player models against that backdrop. And now there are three entrances into B site for terrorists to come through, so it's going to be a lot harder for CTs to hold this area as there are now split entrances here. And in their patch notes, I'm not entirely sure what doorway they're talking about, but they say you can't get on a doorway above stairs leading into B, and I think it was this one. Doesn't really matter now as it's gone, and that's just obviously a good patch because that's a bitchy spot to play. Another small change they made that I'm not sure why is when you type in status into console now, it does not show the server IP, as well as the ability to finally sell unopened graffitis and get them the fuck out of your inventory because they're just really stupid and nobody wants them. And finally, I did want to mention from the Reddit post, it looks like Valve has actually acknowledged that Panorama UI is set to be happening sooner than later. This is a big update that a lot of people have been waiting for. It's a UI refresh in the game, and I'm very excited to hear more about it. Thanks for watching.